Hello everyone, welcome back to Lango Learning System. My name is Lavon, one of the IELTS teachers here at Lango. I hope you're ready for today's session. We're going to be talking about tips and tricks to improve your IELTS listening score. Let's dive right in. Before the test, improve your listening skills. The aim of the listening section is to examine your listening abilities. Doing some practice in your textbook will help you become familiar with the format of the listening test, but sadly it won't boost your score that much. It's much more effective to do different kinds of listening exercises and practice with many varieties of materials, such as radio reports, TV shows, documentary programs, etc. You'll become familiar with a wider variety of structures, vocabulary and styles. Enhance your vocabulary on the topic. You can find out what type of vocabulary commonly comes up in the listening test and focus on widening your familiarity with these terms and structures. For example, a topic that often comes up in section 3 is education. The context could be in a lecture, the teacher assigning a task for students for the upcoming summer holiday. Looking for all the vocabulary you can find relating to the university and learning how each one is used in a practical context can help you gain more knowledge and understanding when you come across this topic in an exam context. Acquaint yourself with a variety of accents. To represent the international nature of English, the IELTS listening exam will include a variety of accents. As a result, you should become accustomed to hearing accents from a variety of English-speaking nations. To help you practice listening at home, I have some suggestions for sources that can help you improve your listening score. Lyrics Gap is a website that's designed with a game-like format that allows students to both listen to music and gap fill missing lyrics. This is suitable for learners who are just starting to become familiar with the language. For more advanced learners, try consulting some of the following sources. VOA Learning English. There is a wide range of news, intriguing clips and videos uh, with given transcripts which will enable you to listen for more precise details. English Test Store. ETS provides you with listening exercises like factual test exams in IELTS. Exam English. This is a source of different English exams for you to practice. You can try to do exercises for different exam types. Audible. This site includes a series of audio books that offer lots of informative listening recordings. You can use them for practice or personal enjoyment too. During the test. Pay attention to the types of words. Before listening to the tape, you should glance over the questions and determine which type of word form can be put in each gap. It can be a noun, verb, adverb or adjective, for example. But you should write the abbreviation such as N for noun, ADV for an adverb or ADJ for the adjective so that you can focus on listening for specific word forms in the audio. These predictive skills can really save you some time during the exam. Involve yourself in the situation. Try to get into the mindset of a listening test. Frequently, speakers will give you a brief introduction like now you will hear a dialogue between or you will hear a lecture on. It's not indicated on the test paper, so you have to listen carefully. Some questions you can ask to work out context are Who are the speakers? Why are they speaking? Where are they? By doing this, you can comprehend the rest of the recording much easier. Don't be distracted by background noise or other factors. Remember, the recording is played only once. Hence, if you miss some words and can't answer the question, move on to the next one and go back to it later to complete. At the end of the section, you should spend a few minutes reviewing all of the questions. If you don't do this, you might miss some questions and or make some mistakes. 
In the listening section, you will have to read, listen and write simultaneously. Practice doing so before the exam so that it doesn't come as a surprise to you. Be aware of some indicators. While listening, you should notice some words or indicators such as however, but, then, finally. These words will help you identify what kind of information is going to be stated in the sentence that follows. For example, when you hear however or but, the next sentence will contain contrasting information to the previous one. That can help you guess when the information in the gap is mentioned and to catch what you're looking for more effectively. Be careful when picking the answer. In many listening tests, the examiner will set some traps where students can make mistakes unawares. For example, at first the speaker will give the correct information that fits the gap, but after that they correct some small piece of it that not many students will pay attention to because they are still busy writing the first incorrect answer. Therefore, don't immediately take it as an answer when hearing the information for the first time. You should listen to the end of the section to make sure that the answer isn't hidden later on. Ensure that there are no minor mistakes. It's crucial to spend the last 30 seconds at the end of each section checking once more for spelling, word forms or plural mistakes. The examiner will grade your correct answer so make sure that you correct small mistakes to gain points. Transfer answers precisely. At the end of the test, students will have 10 minutes to transfer the answers onto the answer sheet. Often, students put the answer in the wrong gap because our notes can sometimes confuse us. So remember to be ordered and logical. Ensure that answer number 5 goes in the fifth gap, etc. Don't leave any questions unanswered. Any incorrect answers will not lower your marks. So if you don't catch the exact answer, make an educated guess based on what you heard and what is provided on the test paper. To put it another way, you shouldn't leave any blanks on your answer sheet. It's always better to write something than nothing. I hope you found this lesson helpful in preparing for your IELTS test. If you want to sign up for IELTS courses at Lango, then please click on the link below. These IELTS courses are designed to cater to your individual needs and to provide personalized learning pathways. Remember to like, share and subscribe and don't forget to hit the bell button to get a notification of our latest video uploads. Stay safe and I'll see you soon for our next video lesson. We'll